Node 2, also known as Harmony, is the latest module to be added to the International Space Station in October of 2007. There are a total of six ports on the node to attach other station components in the future. Here is an exploded view of the station with the Harmony module circled in red. Harmony was built in Italy by a consortium of European contractors and shipped to the United States to be launched by the Space Shuttle Discovery. Here you can see some of the work done as it was prepared to be loaded into the shuttle payload bay. Here is a view inside the payload bay during launch and now with the payload bay doors open during the trip to the International Space Station. During Day 4 of the shuttle mission, the station robotic arm is used to remove Node 2 from the shuttle and attach it to a temporary location on the existing Unity node on the station. The final destination for the 31,500 pound module is where the shuttle is currently docked at the end of the Destiny Lab. It will be moved later in the year by the station crew after the shuttle departs. Here is a view of the module still in the payload bay after the shuttle has docked with the International Space Station. As we pan across now, you can see it situated at the rear of the shuttle bay. You can now see the astronauts beginning their work in the payload bay to prepare Harmony to be removed. Before launch, the hardware must be stabilized to sustain the g-forces and vibration of the launch even though there is very little load on it in the null gravity of orbit. There are a number of bolts and fasteners installed to keep the hardware safe during the launch that must be removed. Now the robotic Canada Arm 2 is in position to grapple the node as the spacewalker moves away from Harmony and back toward the station. The robotic arm moves in towards the attachment point on node 2. This video is sped up as the actual movement is very slow and deliberate to ensure nothing is damaged during the process. You can see the spacewalker moving around near the airlock at the top of the view. The arm is moved very slowly in its final approach to grab the arm. And finally, the node is securely attached to the arm. It is now to be slowly lifted out of the shuttle payload bay. We jump ahead here after it has cleared the shuttle. Here is a view from the payload bay looking up at the module from below with the station behind it. The robotic arm then slowly moves the node away from the shuttle toward the port side of the station. This clip is moving at about seven times normal speed. The node is then rotated and maneuvered into its final position. Again, this is a very delicate and time-consuming process as an astronaut inside the station carefully manipulates the Canada Arm 2 and Node 2. In this view, you can see the view of the module hovering in position with Earth passing below. This is a view from the port side of the Unity node where Harmony will be attached. Again, this is significantly sped up as it is moved into position. Two spacewalks are planned for November to connect Harmony to the station's cooling system and power grid at its final destination on the Destiny Lab. This will clear the way for the launch of the European Space Agency's Columbus Research Lab, which will be attached to the right side port, while Japan's Kibo Lab module will be connected to Harmony's left hatch in 2008. Now the node is centered and is moved closer into its final position. Once Harmony makes contact with the station, the connections are firmly mated. Here the sun has set on the station as the astronauts continue their activities in the dark. The arm now releases its grip on the node. With the node firmly in place via automatic bolts and the internal lights turned on, the crew can now see through the port window into the newest room of the station. It is fairly roomy and adds about 75 cubic meters, bringing the total station working space up to about 500 cubic meters, or 18,000 cubic feet. Finally, after everything checks out and the integrity of the connection is verified, the hatch is ready to be opened by the crew. Note the masks and eye protection in case of any debris floating around inside the module. 
I hope you enjoyed this edit of the Harmony installation on the International Space Station.